Yeah, Gila monsters are pretty difficult to relocate in comparison to other things because they just don't tolerate new things as well as other animals. They have a very particular set of microhabitat features that they have used throughout their lives and they need to be able to use those. They're not gonna just figure it out again. So in most cases, we just try to talk to the homeowner like, hey, this thing will probably just go away on its own. Is it okay if we just take it out of this area of immediate danger for the lizard mostly and take it right over here so we can plug back in? You'll probably never see it again which is true because if someone has a Gila monster in their backyard, it's probably been there a billion times before. This is just the one time that they saw it and that way that they're actually pretty similar to rattlesnakes, but um, you know, they don't, they're not as, I guess, flashy as the rattlesnakes are. So people don't notice them as much, but definitely whenever we get a Gila monster, it takes a lot more thought, a lot more work, potentially a lot more hiking to get to the right spot because more so than rattlesnakes even, the random locations that people tend to dump them out are gonna kill it. 